Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Um, somebody mentioned this to me and uh, said that there was a patent 060606. 666. You know, zero really doesn't exist. It's just a placeholder. I mean, if somebody says, I got zero money in the bank, I mean, is it really the bank going to say, oh, the balance is zero? No, you just don't have anything. It's just a placeholder. So um, I looked it up, and I had a hard time looking it up. But it's an international patent. Evidently, I guess the UN, United Nations, has a type of international patent thing. But I was able to find it, do a patent search using the number. I forget who it was that told me about this, but thank you very much. But if you look at it, there is uh, Microsoft. If you look at the uh, screenshots, which I took screenshots, if you look at it, they've got a uh, human machine interface for currency, cryptocurrency. Yeah, you wonder why they've been pushing uh, Bitcoin and all that stuff so much? Oh, yeah. I wonder why. Huh, the Great Reset. Hmm. We're going to wipe out all that dirty paper money that spreads disease. And we'll just implement some kind of a human chip Microsoft inspired uh, interface with the computer cloud. That bill uh you know gates will be so happy to help us do and by the way bill gates is a uh rocky feller cousin so yeah so you know that's how things work um everybody's like oh yeah man like Mark of the Beast, you know. Well, hey, isn't it funny? They got 666 on the patent. Isn't that funny? Just a coincidence, I'm sure. It's in your face, people. It's in your face. So, you know, what can I tell you? Well, I'm out here trying to warn everybody for as long as I can. And, uh, you know, let me tell you what, I retired and uh took a huge huge cut in pay i mean huge but now i can spend hours every day doing uh looking up for news and posting it on the community page and i can make bible studies uh so which i'm happy to do you know really so you know keep it in mind I don't, uh, I don't claim to know it all. You know, Jesus, they asked Jesus when he was returning and he says, well, I don't know. And the angels in heaven don't know. Only father knows. So only God, the father knows. And you better believe if there are things that Jesus doesn't know, absolutely. I, a lot of things I do not know. That is for sure. But, um, uh, this patent thing, it does exist. And Looks like they're going to do a some kind of a human machine interface with currency. So cryptocurrency. So they're going to get rid of dirty cash spreading all those diseases. You know, cash is dirty. You know, got to get rid of it. Got to stop the virus. You know, it's very important we get rid of that virus or whatever new thing they come up with. So just keep that in mind. And just remember that in 1934, uh, by executive order, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, he was our first recorded Jewish president. Yeah, somebody had told me that. And I looked into it. Sure enough, he sure was. He married his cousin, Eleanor. Uh, they called it the New Deal. Uh, they removed the N and put a J on it. A lot of people back then. But uh, he passed a so-called executive order making gold coins 
that had been legal tender for hundreds, you know, over a hundred and something years in the United States, he made gold coins illegal that the U.S. Treasury and Mint had had made. You know, we used to have $20 gold coins in the United States. They weighed about an ounce. And he said, oh, they're now illegal. Turn them in. Otherwise, you five years in prison and $10,000 fine, which $10,000 fine back then was you could have bought a house. A house. You know, a moderate middle class house. So... And they used to have FBI agent in the bank's uh, safe deposit box room looking over people's shoulders, making sure they weren't hiding any of those gold coins in their safe deposit boxes. That's what I heard, yeah. And then in, uh, 30 years later, 64, they got rid of the silver coins. So now you just got little pieces of paper and uh, fake coins that aren't really worth anything. And they're going to get rid of that and some kind of human machine interface, maybe some kind of a chip. I don't know. You know, they've already got chips in your uh, government IDs, your passport, your ATM card, your credit cards. And Bill Gates has got a patent. Take a look. You know, read it. You know, Microsoft. Isn't that lovely? An international patent. You know, I used to think the Bible was a bunch of junk. And now I look at it and boy, prophecy is just, it's coming to pass. I mean, it only has been the last, oh, I don't know, a uh, few decades where they've actually had the technology to interconnect all the financial systems worldwide and be able to, you know, you go to the bank. Well, you don't need to go to the bank. Just go to the store and you got your little chip on whatever right now, you know, your ATM card or your credit card. But uh, Bill Gates wants to uh, put it somewhere in your body. And what do you want to bet it'll be the right hand or in the forehead? Just a guess, you know. Well, at least that's what the King James says. Now, the modern Bibles say on. You know, if I put, um, if I put poison on my stomach, is it going to kill me? Probably not. But I put, put poison in my stomach, well, good chance you'll die. What about snake venom? You know, cobra venom. If you put cobra venom on your skin, you know, there's a chance you, nothing will happen. Well, not your eyes, but, you know, on your skin. But if you put it in your skin, like a snake bite, well, you got a problem. So there's a big difference between on and in. And as far as I know, the only two Bibles that say in is the Geneva and the King James. All the other Bibles say on. So, and then people blast me for oh you're one of those king james only people Ugh. well let me tell you something people there were revivals with the king james bible i've never seen a revival with the niv i've never seen a revival with the new american standard bible i've never seen a revival with those I've seen, well, I've read history anyways. Revivals with the King James. It transformed Europe along with the Geneva and Luther's, uh, his Bible, which uses the same manuscripts. It's just in German. So, 
You know, people like Tyndale died, burned at the stake by the, by the papists to give you the Bible, and people won't even bother to read it. So what can I tell you? Hey, you want to you wanna trust your modern Bibles? Go for it, dog. I don't care. You know, Mary was just a young woman. The virgin birth's a lie. Uh, you know, all those miracles that Jesus did, that was just John bragging. Never really happened, you know. Hey, maybe the whole Bible's wrong. Maybe Jesus really isn't the Messiah. You know, there's a group of people over in the Middle East that uh, agree with that. Maybe we should listen to them. They got a Messiah coming. You know, maybe the whole Bible's wrong. That's why I don't listen to those people. That's that's the that's where they want to lead us. Down the the hole to the pit of hell. And if they want to go there, uh they're going to have a lot of company when they get there, but I don't want to follow them. I don't want to join them. No, thank you. All I know is I've seen miracles in the name of Jesus. And uh, I believe, I totally believe the Lord had showed me, with a miracle, by the way, that uh, the King James is his word in English. So, all right, everybody, what can I tell you? So, I will keep fighting for as long as I'm on the tube. And we'll see what happens after that. So, all right. Well, enjoy the uh, 666 thing. It's coming, people. And all these pre-tribbers think they're going to fly out of here. Oh, boy. They're going to be your enemies. So, all right. Take care. All glory to Jesus. His precious name. Amen.